Hey Richard, do you use two or do you use three equal operators in JavaScript? Because I was always taught at university to use three, so I did, and I didn't really think much about it. However, I later learned that the reason that they teach you that in, in a, at the university is because your professor don't trust you to know the difference between two or three equal operators. So I learned the difference, and the difference is that if you use two equal operators, it will do type conversion before it compares the objects which means that number one and a string one will come out true. However, if you use three equal operators, uh, it will come out false because it needs to be of the same type. Uh, time went by, didn't really think much about that either. Maybe it came up, came up a scenario where I actually used two equal operators because I, it uh, suited the case the best. But then I read an article explaining that even though you know the difference between two and three equal operators, doesn't mean that the person after you will know. And if you work in a team on a project, it's quite common that someone else will read your code, change your code, or take after the project after you. And by using two equal operators, you're making the code less readable. And good code is code that anyone can read, or readable code. Uh, also, two equal operators uh, kind of invites for those really tricky bugs where you won't really get an error message where you know exactly where to go and fix the problem. It would be those kind of bugs where under certain circumstances uh, your code won't work as intended and those can be really tricky to find and solve. So I'm back to using to always using three equal operators in JavaScript. So now here I am changing my mind back and forth. Not always sure how I should do certain things, but one thing is for sure, I write better code today than I did yesterday.